Well, folks, you might have seen a burly shirtless man wandering around downtown Cleveland earlier this month, and this time it wasn't one of my uncles. <laughs> it was actually probably one of the most popular comedians in America right now, Burt Kreischer. He stopped in Cleveland on his nationwide arena tour and was kind enough to sit down and chat with me before his show at Rocket, Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, where we talked about his love of Cleveland, his upcoming movie, The Machine, and his feelings about Russian President Vladimir Putin. Spoiler alert, Burt's not a fan. You saw it. It was very fun. We had a blast. And that's your first, uh, that's your first film. First, first acting job. Tell me about that process, preparing for something like that, compared to doing stand-up. It's almost like the first time I did stand-up, where you don't know what you're doing on stage, you don't know how you're going to behave, and, and I, I'd never really acted in anything. I'd never been on set. I'd never heard action. But that very first day, I was terrified. My wife was there, and I was like, can, can I act? <laughs> she was like, are you? Yeah, you're killing it. I it loved was good. it. Yeah. I loved the whole experience. The, I, I had never had more fun doing anything in my entire life. You do a lot of fight choreography in this. Did you actually have to train for that? Yeah, I'm a horrible fighter. <laughs> it came, I'm it, so you bad. You look like a real fighter. You don't know what didn't go I on. mean, I know there's a lot of direct, but it looked good. So let me let me tell you what happened. Sure. I was so bad at fighting, because <laughs> I would make the noise when I'd punch. i go, <laughs> So they had to edit that out. You'll, you'll see my mouth in the scene. Mm -hmm. I made noises. Right. I made noise. They had to edit that out. In a way, I mean, again, this is it's a pretty personal movie. There's a lot of stuff that you're obviously, that you drew from your real life and everything. Yeah. Is this like a pretty high budget, like big therapy session that you've just made here? I mean, yeah, kind of. You know, it's, it's a pivotal movie about a, a dad, mm -hmm. a, a, a father's relationship with their child. Right before I left for the movie, I had, we started having hiccups with my daughter just the exact same way, like just a disconnect. I'm an open book. I've always been an yeah. open book in stand-up, and I think that the director and the producers took from that. There's a scene at the beginning and, and where I talk to my wife about how hard it is. I've overlapped the machine with me, and I don't know which one's which. Those are real conversations I've had with my family members and real feelings I have about me mm -hmm. as an entertainer, as an, a personality, as a person, as a dad, as a husband. Like, those are all real, 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 real things. What's the... Uh ultimate goal with this film, what do you want people to take from it? I want it to make money. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Huh? I just wanted to do, I want people to like it. I want people to be like, I can see another one. Yeah. I want to sign up for machine three, two, three, or four. Yeah. I want to do four more. Mm -hmm. I want to do four more. I want it to be like my Rambo. You're releasing this at an interesting time geopolitically in that your villain is a Russian and they're kind of ornery these days. Do you worry about Russian repercussions when this film goes out? Do you think that you, Putin might come at you? I mean, you worried about that? No, bring it, Putin. Whoa. If, um, but let me tell you, if Putin gets upset at my movie, mm. I will be making so much goddamn money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I right. don't care at all. You're right. It's weird because that enemy was popular in the 80s. That's why we had, you know, that's Red Dawn and that's yeah. why we, Rocky IV. And now, I feel like the Russians are kind of making a comeback I'm as like, villains. You know, and you're I'm, helping that happen. Yeah. So, great enemy though, really well timed. We're insecure Clevelanders, Midwesterners. We like it when people visit us, particularly like Hollywood showbiz type people that everyone's heard of. So, the best way to win us over is to like say some nice things about the town. I'll, I'll tell you what I love about Ohio. First of all, you have weather. Mm. Second of all, you have uh, you have topography. You have rolling hills, yeah. and you've got what is it? Five huge cities. You've got the biggest uh, theme park in the world. You've got lakes. You've got sunsets. You've got outdoors. You've got so much, and you've got humility. Uh, that's why we like you, though, is because you uh, you get us Cleveland's happy for you. Congratulations you. on your success. Is there uh, one more push for the movie? Just tell people how they can check it out, when they can check it out. My movie, The Machine, is in theaters Memorial Day weekend. We're doing a special in-theater presentation. We'll be live streaming from the red carpet. Get your tickets at themachine.movie, and you can buy out the entire weekend. We can sell this movie out before it even gets to theaters. And come back and visit us again when for the before the release of The Machine 2, still churning. Machine Thanks, 2, La Vida Loca. Boom, there, that's better. Thank you, brother. Thanks, man, congratulations. Thank you so much. Now, you gotta party with me. Folks, The Machine officially hits theaters on Friday, May 26th. Be sure and check it out. Thanks for the time.